I know the phrase that changed my life might sound clickbaity and people say that all the time, this thing changed my life. But I'm not joking, I'm not being clickbaity, I'm not being exaggeratory when I say that this lens actually changed my life. For those of you who don't know my story, I started taking cameras and camera equipment seriously around 2015. And that's when I bought my first DSLR camera. It was a Canon Rebel T5, just a kit lens, and I was off to the races. I did everything with that lens. I quickly learned and realized that the lens makes things better when it comes to using cameras. So I looked up and invested in the cheapest, best lens that I could afford at the time, which was the Nifty 50. And I'm a huge fan and proponent of the Nifty 50. It's up there when I, th when I think of the lenses that people should get for their first lens outside of a kit lens. It's high up there. It was in the Nifty 50 that I really discovered my love for prime lenses. So after I bought and started using the Nifty 50, I really fell in love with prime lenses and what prime lenses could offer. So I was like, you know, dive all in on prime lenses. So from there, I invested in a 30 millimeter, a 24 millimeter, and I really stayed in that focal range. And mind you, I was doing portraits and it was my understanding that because I had a crop sensor camera, it was a full frame equivalent of, you know, longer focal lengths and I was okay with that. All of that changed when I decided to switch from Canon to Sony. Making that shift, one, I had to invest in all new glass. So I at first bought an adapter and then I switched over time very slowly into different Sony prime lenses. Things for me shifted again when I started getting into wedding photography and wedding filmmaking. I couldn't get by on prime lenses unless I had two bodies. Well, I wasn't really trying to buy another APS-C body at the time. I was like, if I'm gonna buy another body, I'm gonna go full frame. And if I can't buy another body, then I need to buy more versatile lenses or a versatile lens option. The logical choice would be an 85, but then during a wedding day or an event, you'll be switching lenses all the time unless you have that second body. So I really needed something that was versatile enough to where it would give me a nice range of reach for what I was trying to shoot. This is when I dove into YouTube research mode. And from there, I started looking at things like the 18 to 105, the 24 to 70, and the 16 to 35. And that's where I stumbled upon this magical focal range from Tamron, the 17 to 70. As I was learning about all of these things, everyone was like, the 24 to 70 is the gold standard. That's the top one that everyone gets, especially for full frame. It's the one to get this and this. Well, 24 to 70 s cost a lot of money. And even if you get a used 24 to 70 at F4, it's still, you know, $600. Whereas in my research, the Tamron 17 to 70 gave me a little bit more reach as far as on the wide end. And then it was only $200 more and it was F2.8. And that's a big part of why I chose to go with it. Did a bunch of photo shoots, saved up a bunch of money and I buy the Tamron 17 to 70. This lens completely changed the way that I shoot. Now, coming from prime lenses, I'm very used to moving around to get the shot that I need, rooms not being big enough, rooms being too tight, just making shots work with prime lenses. But with a zoom lens, with that depth of a range, I was able to go from a certain style of shot that was very singular focused into all kinds of focuses, all kinds of ranges. With this lens on the long end, on the 70 end, I was able to get sharper, crisper portraits with even more depth of field. And on the wide end, I mean, the widest lens that I owned at the time was a 24. And so I was able to get, to me, super wide images. This was something that I had not been able to achieve. And all of this really came together when I shot my first wedding with it. No longer did I have to go several aisles or pews or whatever have you up and down the aisle to get shots that I needed. I could stand in one singular spot for a decent amount of time and knock out several shots. I was able to get the reach on the long end so I didn't have to go all the way up to the altar. I was also able to stand farther back and get a huge, nice wide shot of the entire ceremony. Purchasing and learning how to use a zoom lens, especially this one, opened up so many possibilities for me. When it came to reception time, 
I was able to get super nice wide shots of everyone dancing on the floor. And at f2.8, I didn't have to worry about cranking a flash up super high to blind everybody or relying on lights from a videographer. Now, if you're a content creator, you might be thinking, okay, that's nice if I wanna take photos and become a photographer, but this lens also changed everything for video. Whenever you're filming yourself or you're filming with another person, it's nice to be able to zoom in without having to move the camera. We all know what it's like to set up the camera and then realize, oh, that focal length's not right. Oh, I'm too far away for the shot that I wanted. All of that stuff comes into play. And when you work with a zoom lens, it helps with that dynamic. Now, I know that zooms are a little more expensive. Like I mentioned, this lens was seven or $800 when I bought it. But I think that I have well gotten my money's worth out of this lens for all the things that it allows me to do. Whenever I am on work shoots or content shoots for work, this is one of the first lenses that I put in my bag. I love the sharpness of primes. I love what I'm able to create with primes, but if I need to run and gun and be, if I had to choose one lens to take on a shoot, I'm taking that one. Even though it's APS-C, I'm very comfortable with APS-C. APS-C delivers very nice images. It's not what it once was. This lens is amazing. It's fantastic. I love the sharpness. I love the versatility. I love the price point. And I love that it gives me exactly what I desire out of an image from a lens of this caliber. As you guys know on this channel, I'm not super into all of the specs, so I'm not gonna run down a spec sheet. The main things that I do wanna point out, it's f2.8, like I mentioned earlier, and it does have vibration control. The Tamron equivalent steady shot built into the lens. When it comes to the cons of this lens, it's a little heavy. It is a little bulky in the size of like, if you're used to primes, they're usually like this. Well, this lens is like this. Like it's a, it's a decently sized lens. It's not something that you're gonna sneak into anywhere. If you have that on your camera body, uh, everyone's gonna know that you have a big camera. The build quality is a little plasticky. It did take a fall and there is a small crack somewhere along the lens area. Thankfully, it did not crack the glass. It did not crack the actual elements of the lens that it needs to work, but it did crack a little bit and the fall was probably from about four feet. Throughout this video, I've been sharing visuals and images that I've taken with this lens and you can't deny that it's a quality product. It's a quality lens. It's one that I recommend to anyone with a Sony APS-C body that's looking to go from primes to zooms. It won't break the bank. Tamron is a reputable brand and it delivers in the quality area. It's for this reason that I invested into even more Tamron lenses. I have the 24 millimeter and the 35 millimeter, both f2.8. And I'm very happy with my purchase. I'm very happy with Tamron products. And if you're interested in this lens or any of the other lenses that I mentioned, you can check out the link in the description down below. I have links to every piece of gear that I own. It's my ultimate gear list. And I would appreciate it if you are thinking of purchasing that you use one of those links. It is an affiliate link. I have the potential to earn a small commission on those purchases, but it's at no extra charge to you. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about this lens, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll gladly answer them. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Do the work, believe in yourself, and keep creating. Peace.